What is up, Traveler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Jake Paul has stolen Logan Paul's thunder because now Mayweather is saying he's going to fight Jake Paul. We got all of it. Deji's talking about getting back into the ring and he got into a big fight on Twitter. We got that. Prank versus prank. When's the last time you heard about them? There was drama surrounding them. Somebody on TikTok made a horrible rumor about Jesse Wellens. And we got that. We're going to cover that for you. Also, the girl who is kissing a 13-year-old boy. We are talking about Zoe Laverne. She is back in the news in a big way and much, much more. And talking about big we got a 10-foot PlayStation 5, so much to cover. But before we get into it, guys, first, make sure you are subscribed with those notifications on because you don't want to miss a thing. Our first story is coming from Zoe Laverne. Now, Zoe Laverne, uh, she got exposed for uh, kissing a 13-year-old boy. She was 19 years old at the time. She got a lot of hate for it. And uh, her defense was she caught feelings. <laughs> yeah. Well, recently, a lot of people have been giving her a lot of hate on TikTok. And she responded to this because they weren't just, like, sending hate to her. They were, like, threatening to beat her up. She responded to this in, uh, in a comical way. <laughs> Roll it. One more post and then I'm done. There's a lot of people on TikTok using my name for, like, clout and just to, like, use me as, like, a target to get views and stuff. Do something good with your platform that makes you gain views and likes and a fan base. Saying you're gonna beat my ass or put, like, or just, like, posting, like, videos trying to put me down. Here's the thing. None of you know me as a person. What are you gonna beat my ass for? You're gonna really take the time out of your day to beat somebody's which I'm not scared. I'm not saying I'm scared whatsoever. I'm just trying to make a point here. You're gonna beat my ass or do this or do that because of stuff that you see on the internet? None of you know what actually happened. Police got involved with my situation and I'm pretty sure if I was a threat to children or if I groomed him, I would be in jail. I kissed a minor. Yeah, that's awful and should have not happened, but I got help and took accountability for it. Oh Lord. And speaking about funny TikToks, this woman used super glue on her head and had no idea. Hey y'all, for those of y'all that know me know, my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm gonna tell y'all like this if you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this unless you want your head to be like that. Yeah, Gorilla Glue. Yeah, that was Gorilla Glue. And Gorilla Glue is literally trending on Twitter right now because of that video. It's just gone viral. Absolutely insane. And speaking about going viral, there was this TikTok exposing Jesse Wellens from Prank vs. Prank of, like, uh, beating up his ex-girlfriend. And I don't want to show the TikTok because, quite frankly, it, it's BS. It's not even real. I hit up Jesse Wellens just to, to make sure I talk to him. And then all Gina or Jen Smith said, it's so disheartening that someone would use cancel culture in a way to gain self-exposure at the expense of someone's life by publicly slandering them. I've never 
been abused by Jesse. If you come across any videos from the user creating this awful false narrative, please report. Yeah, like I said, I would play the original video, but I just don't want to give that guy any clout. Also in the news, uh, Tifu's brother and Jake Paul's ex-girlfriend both got arrested. They did a stunt where they went up to the Hollywood sign and changed wood. Boob, here's some footage of them being captured. Roll. Also in the news, we told you, we've been telling you not a lot of hype for the Logan Paul versus Mayweather. Well, now there's some hype because uh, Jake Paul stole his brother Logan's thunder. Floyd Mayweather posted a picture of him and Jake Paul saying Mayweather versus Jake Paul 2021. In the caption, he said, this year we'll focus on several expeditions. I have an expedition in Tokyo, Japan. Again, of course, one with Logan Paul. And if Jake Paul can get past his next opponent, Ben Askren, I will have an expedition with him as well. I also heard that 50 Cent would fight me, but claims I'm too small. But if he wants to lace up at the end of the year, I don't care about weight class with any of these guys. The Paul brothers will make great money with these events, but with 50 Cent, it has to be winner take all. Whoa. And then that's when Jake Paul got to work, you know, promoting this, gassing it up doing the stuff that Logan Paul is not doing to promote his fight with Mayweather. Jake Paul put out a video saying the poem for Floyd Mayweather. Dear Mr. Mayweather, who runs your Instagram? They need to get paid better. Do us a favor and stay off of social media. You should focus on learning to read, retirement, or maybe an encyclopedia. You call me out to fight, but you're half my height. You might beat my brother, but Jake Paul is a different type proposition I don't do exhibitions we can fight on my conditions 50 50 commissions oh and we haven't forgotten you tried training Nate to beat me I left him unconscious on the canvas let's hope you're not that easy a quick NBA knockout he's never boxing again speaking of NBA who knocked up your daughter my friend after I KO Askren on Triller, April 17th, I would love to fight you, Floyd, and punch you in those fake veneer teeth. Okay, okay, now here's the thing. Floyd Mayweather responds to Jake Paul. You see how Jake Paul and Floyd are going back and forth? Logan and Floyd, not so much. Like, it's, it's non-existent. Floyd says Jake is talking about he don't do expeditions. Them two BS boxing matches he had were expeditions. They were not against real professional box. And I don't even play when it comes to education because millions of blacks got lynched just for reading. Let me see. You went to get a black boxing trainer. Try to dress like you're black. Wear jewelry like black people. Try to dance like black people, but you don't want to be black? All you do is jack black swag from us. You go from groupie fan to a fake professional fighter. This world's crazy. Showing a post from 2018 where Jake Paul announced that Floyd Mayweather was his trainer. Oh, okay, so these posts got YouTube boxing exciting. There was hype. And then everybody started talking about it. Dylan Dennis said, this is one of Jake's last opponents and he thinks he can beat me. Stop the madness. <laughs> Showing a picture of Deji's father. Now, obviously Deji did not like this. He responded to Dylan Dennis by saying, you are the definition of cringe. And then Deji announced that he will box again. He tweeted out, I will box again, I promise. But that's when Slim responded by saying, but didn't you reject the opportunity to box on Thriller because you weren't ready? Oh, he got exposed. Uh, but speaking about Deji, uh, big moment in Deji's life, actually. Um, he finally moved out of the house with his parents. He uploaded a brand new video yesterday announcing that he moved out. Oh, I'm proud of him. Deji is all grown up. And speaking about growing up, this PS5 had some growing to do because it's 10 feet tall. That's right, the YouTuber ZHC. It cost him $70,000 to make a working PS5 that's 10 feet tall. That controller works. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Unbelievable. 
Also in the news, the Minecraft YouTuber known as Dream came out with a new song called Road Trip. It's actually pretty good. Now, I was going to play some of you uh, for you here, but I was talking to Dream in DMs, and he still can't figure out how to whitelist the channel. So if I play any of the audio, I'll get a copyright in it. But I personally think it's good, and I'm shocked at how good it is. And speaking about good, if you haven't subbed to my investment financial channel known as Keem Stunks, which I made three days ago, which already has 40,000 subscribers. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. We're covering stocks, cryptocurrency, collectible investments, uh, you know, Pokemon cards, video game, anything to do with finances. We covered on there. We've interviewed a lot of great guests. So uh, if you're into investing, make sure you check it out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you take the time to slap a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you're sub because you know, as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop.